Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back in. We're on Elk Mountain Road in Wyoming, and it's getting awfully cold and wintry. Well, you guys saw it last time. Snow was falling. Luckily, she's not sticking to the ground yet. Uh, I'm just here filling up some fuel, and uh, I've got a problem to deal with today. We've got a problem, and if we don't get it dealt with, I'm going to be beating the snot out of my equipment. Uh, let me fill up this um, this trailer first. Uh, uh, you making me beat up grass! Yeah, so guys, like I said, I've, I've been beating the snot out of, um, well, all of our equipment. Not all of our equipment. One, one tractor in particular. It's been our, our only, well, I wouldn't say usable tractor, but it's our only kind of newer tractor. I don't have the money to, to really go out and buy anything too crazy yet. So, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to find some solutions to that. And I think I've got an option today. Let me go out and show you a little bit what I'm talking about here. Uh, we got to fill up this, uh, this tank here first. We'll fill this all up. And we'll get down to the nitty gritty. But the John Deere, we've got the John Deere 7R out on this farm. And we've been, like, really using the heck out of that tractor. And, uh, guys, I'm, it's, I feel a little bad. It's in pretty rough shape. I'm, I kind of feel like we're, we're beating it up a little bit too much. And I think we need to be careful with it. Because it's the only good, real, it's the highest end tractor we got. Let's empty this thing into our diesel fuel tank. And we got to fill that up anyways. So, guys, this is what I'm talking about. This 7R it is the 350 Series 7R. Running around 370 horsepower, somewhere around that range. You know what? Nice tractor, 2020 model. Um, really good tractor for what we're using it here. But this is really the only model. I mean, like, this thing's almost brand new, or it was, was brand new. And I am literally beating the snot out of this thing. Our only other tractor we have is the uh, the Farmall over here. The Farmall, the big, the big body or the high body series. You know what? Great tractor. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's only 120 horsepower, though, so it has its limitations. It's great for what we need to use it for, for just some moving bales around, um, maybe a little bit of tedding, windrowing, some stuff like that, maybe fertilizing, even if we need to. But I can't even pull that. I can't even pull that roller, guys. We can't pull the roller with this tractor. In fact, I can't pull a baler with that tractor. I've got a baler that we were working with the other day. Uh, we we still got to do some work with that. We'll do that a little later on, but. I can't even pull anything with that. I'm stuck using the, the John Deere, the 7R. And this thing, I, don't get me wrong, great tractor. It's just overkill for a lot of this stuff. Case in point, we're going out right now to go roll a grass field we planted just the other day. Get her ready for the uh, the spring. And I've got to use the 7R because I got nothing else. I got no other ways of dealing with this tool, this implement, and another tractor. So today we're going to take care of that. I've got to find a way. I've not beaten this tractor up. I got to find a way to get better. And I've got an option. I've got a solution on something that's a little bit reasonable, at least. I don't have you. Well, you guys, you guys know I'm, I'm not exactly rich out here. This ain't no rich redneck. Let's put it that way. You know, he's broke. He is broke and working for you for free. Redneck. Yes. Rich. No, we'll keep the redneck. All right. We'll keep the redneck. We'll still keep the redneck in, in place. But uh, the rich part, I'm still working on. Yeah, you know what? I can't even get I can't even get the boys out here to give us a hand. Yeah, we need to get some help out here. They're on. I think they're on their way. I think they're flying still. Let's move this bale. Hang on. Yeet. There we go. That's better. So guys, let me roll out the rest of this field. We'll get this this all kind of taken care of. The the hard part done. And like I said, we're gonna give this seven R a break a little bit. I mean, oh, we're a little low on fuel. I was gonna fill this up, but I I forgot. You guys got me. You got me talking. You got me talking too much, and I forgot to fill up with fuel. We'll get some fuel in this thing. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of put this to rest for a little bit. I found a bit of a deal. I've got a plan. I've heard that you guys have heard this before, right? But I've got a plan. I've got a plan. So we'll, we'll find a way to put the 7R to bed for a bit and uh, give her a bit of a break because it's well deserved. All right. So like I said, guys, it's time for, well, to upgrade. Well, not an upgrade. It's not an upgrade. Don't don't call it an upgrade. We're in dire need of an upgrade. But it's it's I think it's going to be awesome. Now, I've got this. I've got something purchased already. We're going to town to pick it up it's um don't worry don't worry it's 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 good you're gonna like this actually you know what a lot of you are gonna like this i'm a little nervous still but i think we're gonna be all right it's gonna fit a niche we've got the what you know a somewhat larger 7r i i want i don't want to say a large you know what i don't ever consider the the 7r to be a large tractor there's so much there's so many tractors that are bigger than that and then of course we got the farm all which is definitely on the smaller side um but we need we need something in that kind of middle area, right? So we can do some you know some mild field work with it. It's gonna take care of a lot of the other tasks that I don't really want to use a seven R for, to be honest with you. And this this should do this, right? And if it doesn't, then I'm gonna wreck our seven R. Basically, is what's gonna happen. I wonder if there's any good skiing around here. I feel like we need to get the snowboard, strap the board on, 
do a little bit. It feels like this would be a good little ski town. More could come through here. It feels like this is what it was built for. I don't see any ski mountains anywhere, though. Mary and I went skiing. We made a snowman. She touched my leg. All right. Now, I know it says John Deere dealership. Don't worry. This is used. This is not a brand new deer. Yeah, don't worry about it. In fact, you know what? Our Peterbilt, uh, the colors tend to match. It tends to match. Oh, wait. I, oh, no, you can see it. Yeah, there we go. You know what? The Farmall and International, I think it's a good tandem. Isn't it? The 1586, it's going to go great with that old Farmall. And we've got a little bit more horsepower. Close, you know what? A little bit more power with this one. I would have liked to have gone with four-wheel drive, to be honest with you. We got the two-wheel drive on this model. It is what it is. We're stuck with what we got. It's, it was available. Like I said, going for relatively cheap, good shape, looks good. Got the trailer all hooked up already. They got it set up. They did a quick inspection on it, made sure everything was running for us. We're good to go, guys. Let's head back to the farm. Uh, I kind of want to run it through some paces here right off the bat. Easy, easy, perfect. All right, let's head back through town here uh, and head back out to the uh, the ranch out on the outskirts here of Clearwater. Like I said, man, there's got to be, you'd think there'd be a ski hill someplace close by this. It just looks like it, it's like, are we anywhere close to Jackson Hole here anywhere? I don't know. Feels like it should be close. What other good ski hills are in Wyoming? There's a few of them, isn't there? I think like Jackson Hole is one of the more noticeable, isn't it? Uh, what else is there? Aspen's Colorado. I can't think of any other ones. Let me know in the comments. If you guys are uh, out of out of Wyoming, what are some good ski hills? I, I you know what? I'd love to come down at one point. I need to really, I I really need to strap the board back on. It's been a, it's been a couple of years. Any of you ever uh, carve an R4 on a snowboard while an avalanche is on your booty? Like look at that mountain back there. Looks perfect. See any ski hill? No ski runs on that? Any ski lifts? I don't see nothing. All right, guys. So like I said, this is kind of going to be our middle of the road tractor. The International is going to be sit between the farm all. We've got the big John Deere for the big jobs. We've got this International for, you know, the medium sized jobs. You know, anything like some planting, maybe a little bit, well, of baling. Like we'll leave like the tilling, that kind of stuff up for that John Deere, but this, this guy can do some of the, a lot of the medium, it's going to take a lot of workload off that. Now, to be perfectly honest, I didn't get a good deal on this. I paid a little bit more than I would have wanted to. Look at the upholstery in this. What is that? <laughs> didn't even notice that from the pictures. Um, it looks, looks hot. She looks hot. But uh, yeah, like 45,000 bucks is after, uh, after we got her serviced. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit much, I think. A little bit much. A little bit much, low hours though at least. And, and you know what? She runs like a champ. So, and plus, you know what? I love driving these old internationals. These are a lot of fun. So this is good. I, I'm tempted to put a uh, a front front connection on this, possibly for some forks. I know we've got the farm all for that, if we ever do need more. But you know what? I'm tempted. We got the weight up front right now. There is a weight up on front of this bad boy, so that's for now. But I can always take that off. We could always get a connection on the front, maybe put up uh, some front forks, something like that. Moving bales around, who knows? We'll have to wait and see if we need that or not, or if the farm all can handle it all. All right, let's hook up to uh, our case baler here. I hate to tell you guys this, but when the snow started falling the other day, I kind of, I kind of called it a day, and I didn't get back out here and um, finish the baling off. I probably should have, and I didn't. So, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do the baling today, I guess. Now, doesn't this look like it's much more suited for the baler too than that big old John Deere? Whoa, easy! Almost ran right into the side of me. Yeah, this thing is much more suited for uh, this type of a task. That big John Deere was just—I mean, we're just beating it up for no reason. Doesn't need to be out here. Doesn't need the starts and stops. This, ah, this is more what we're, we're in tune for this. All right, let's just easy, just kind of through the ditch again. In we go. Easy, easy. Ah, that's better. Cool. All right, we'll fire this thing on up and uh, let's finish off this field finally. Now, guys, we do have an announcement to make as well here. Um, fortunately, we, well, with, with the advent of a bunch of uh, the crew getting together, getting a bunch of workers out here, I've kind of gone out and bought well, all the farmland here around Clearwater. We've bought all the farmland out here around Clearwater, which is great. Uh, we had to spend some money. We had to take out a loan. We're, we're in we're in some debt. It's going to be okay, though. But this is what has to happen in order for us to be able to afford to buy all that property. Uh, so we've bought all of the farmland around here. You know what? It came out nice that uh, well, the, the rancher of the, of the community was owned by one rancher. Bought it all. We bought every single piece. I don't know if we're going to get through it all this year. We're like heading into October here right away. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. So for now, we're going to be just pushing through, get enough feed for our cattle and our horses, and we'll see where we go. But I mean, get some cheap labor. That's really what it is. We don't have a lot of equipment yet, so it's going to be too. It's going to be tough to get everything going at the same time. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully these guys could work for 
I don't know what yet. Maybe more brown water. Yeah, that looks better though. <laughs> Way better than using that John Deere for this. It's so it's actually easier because we're not it's not as much weight to slop and push down. I don't know. I feel this is much more suited for this type of work. I'm I think it's gonna be a good purchase with time. It's gonna it's gonna take some time. Uh, 40 grand. 45. Eh. What do you do? Certainly beats bringing Gertie Matilda out all the time, I suppose. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you just happen to find this video. And other than that, folks, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Uh, of course, if you missed the last episode, click on the card over on the right there. Go give it a click. Find out more about Elk Mountain. Oh, man, this, ma this map is fantastic. Go give that a click. Anyways, guys, have a great day. We'll see you then. This is Clutch. Over and out.